everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY foaming hand soap. Now you can do this any time of the year with any essential oil scent, but we're going to specifically talk Christmas in this one. So what I like to do this time of year for any DIY essential oil crafting, I like to make up my own little special essential oil blend for the holidays. Now I am using the Young Living oils and they're very, very strong. So what I make here is is just a perfect blend of these oils because I know how they smell. That's kind of a fun thing to do on your own anyway, is maybe just do a little experimenting with your nose. But um, the blend I put together, and I just call it Christmas by the way, I use Christmas Spirit and Northern Lights Black Spruce. I'm gonna show those a little better here. And I use some Cypress and I use Pine and I use nutmeg. And if you don't have Northern Lights Black Spruce, you can sub in some juniper. Now, I have an ebook that my friends and I have put together. It's a little DIY ebook that the Help Me Oil team has put together. These are tried and true recipes that we have used for years, you guys. Um, five years, a lot of us have been oiling, and so these are ones we've that we like and that we know have worked. And I'm gonna put a link to that below this video. And if you're watching this on a class, I'll also put it um, later on in the class as well. But on in the ebook, these are recipes for all year round, but I have um, a recipe in here for what I call my Christmas blend. It's just on this page here. You'll just get this, you'll print this out. And there's one that's called Christmas blend. The recipe is, and I do this, by the way, in an old upcycled Young Living bottle. I, like, I probably did it in one that was already scented with one of these oils, such as pine. But anyway, I use 30 drops of Christmas Spirit and I use five drops of Nutmeg. This is Vitality, but you can use the standard line as well. And I also use five drops of either Juniper or Northern Lights Black Spruce, whichever one you have. Some years I have more of the other. And when I do this, when I make this up, I make a bunch up every year. I make about three, four bottles of it up in advance every year. Um, I also have five drops of pine and five drops of cypress in there. So this is the Christmas blend and I use it in my Christmas recipes and I also use it in the diffuser a lot this time of year. Okay, so let's get to the soap. Okay, I like to take one of these types of bottles. You can get these. I probably got this from Abundant Health For You. Uh, Bulk Apothecary uh, sells this. I like Bulk Apothecary, but their oils are not the oils that I use. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> um, I like oils that I know are safe for my skin and ones that um, I can even ingest. And I also like to have them nice and strong. Anyway, I get these from one of the, I like their containers though. So I either got it from there or Bulk Apothecary. Amazon is a, is a source for that, uh, especially if you don't like buying in bulk. You can even use an old, um, another from other companies um, that if you had a foaming bath container, or foaming bath soap container that you uh, that's empty and you wanna make your own, you can just peel the label off with a little of lemon or orange essential oil and um, there you go. But anyway, these are not that expensive so it's a good idea to have them. And what I do is I like to take, well, I, I follow the recipe, and I take one teaspoon, <laughs> great. <laughs> Not gonna start the video over, we're just gonna go with that. All right, one teaspoon of baby Dr. Bronner's Baby Mild Castile Soap. This soap right here. I like to use this because it's a really good soap base. It has no scent. It has no parabens, no phthalates. This is a perfectly safe soap, and I love it. Um, then I add a little vegetable glycerin. I get mine from, from the Now Company. Um, I like this because it will make your soaps foamier. And we're talking foaming hand soap here. So I use one teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. You can use more of this if you want. I know people that will put almost a quarter cup of the, uh, 
Dr. Bronner's into a container this size. But I have found that it works really, really well with just a tablespoon. Then if you want, if your hands are kind of dry, especially at the, in, you know, in the winter time, you can add a teaspoon of a carrier oil. You can use Young Living's V6, which is my favorite, or maybe another good pure carrier oil that you have. Um, I'm not gonna add it to this recipe, but when you do add it, uh, it's like I said, it makes a little more emollient on your hands, but it will make your finished product uh, just a little more cloudy looking. And I like to have a nice clear one. So then I add just seven to 10 drops of my Christmas blend. I'm gonna make it 10. Make this one nice and fragrant. Also up to the nose. If you like to use more, go ahead. You can use tap water if you want. I choose not to. I choose to use a distilled or purified or spring water only because I like to have this really nice and clear looking. But then you just fill it up almost all the way up. You don't want to go to the top because you want to fit that top plunger on there. So it's going to look a little cloudy right now, but in a very short amount of time, that's going to clear right up. And then you put your cap on and you shake it up a little bit. And there you go. Now, I like to make labels for them. You can make a chalk label, <clears throat> or I like to um, get these labels from Avery. Uh, they are, I think they're, I'm not sure. I will give you guys a link to what size this, oh, 22807. Avery 22807 is the label that I use. And we'll give you a link to a free printable page if you want to do this. And um, then you just buy Avery 22807. And then you can print that. This is what my label looks like. But you can come up with, you know, Avery has some cool stuff on their website. And you can make any label you want. Uh, they have Christmas fonts. You can just, you know, do, you can even use different kinds of labels. It's fun. All right. So then <clears throat> I just slap that right on the front here. So I'll put it like so, All right? You got a, a pretty little gift there. Um, decorate it up, maybe put a little ribbon around it here. This little wired ribbon. I love wired ribbon. And um, you make yourself a nice little gift. It's, it looks like it's already wrapped almost, right? Um, there you go, just put the little gold ribbon around it. And you got a fun little present to give somebody. I didn't make that look so hot, did I? But <laughs> You get the get, you get the gist. Decorate it up, make it look pretty, um, add it to your gifts, um, put it around your house. It does smell fantastic. I love using this and I can, best of all, I can reuse this. That's it you guys. Enjoy and have fun making gifts for friends and for you.